Okay, so now let's do some application problems involving the law of cosines. Um, so I have a couple here. Um, a person starts walking away from one side of a long, long skinny pond and travels 1,276 yards. Then they turn at an angle of 62 degrees and they walk 879 yards to the end they end up at the other side of the pond then they want to know how long is the pond so what's going on here let's say a long skinny pond looks like this maybe so they're on one side of the pond and they walk away and they go this far so they're kind of like going away from the pond okay and they go this is like 1276 yards and then they make this angle, right? 62 degree angle. And then they travel to the other side of the pond. So this is like 62 degrees. And when they travel to the other side of the pond, that's like 879 yards. And it wants to know like how long is this pond, right? And so you can see the triangle there and I'm given a side or I'm given two sides of the triangle and that included angle. So this is a perfect example of a law of cosines. So this side that I want here, the length of the pond, that's my C. And so I'm going to say that the C squared is equal to 1,276 squared plus 879 squared minus 2 times 1,276, 879, times the cosine of 62 degrees. Okay, so we're going to put all of that into the calculator. Um, so putting all of that in the calculator gives me this big long number I could write it down here um, and but you know I don't need to write it down what I need to do is I need to take the square root of it so I'm going to take it to the half power and then I get the actual length of the lake and so I'm going to say that C is approximately 1160.9 yards so there you go that's uh an example of a problem, kind of an application problem involving using the law of cosines. So let's try another one here. This is talking about a rafter that is 135 feet long and the slanted sides are 80 feet. So I'm guessing, like let's say this is your house, this is the rat, these are like the rafters, right? and this length here is 135 feet and then these these slanted sides are 80 feet right and this is 135 feet and so it wants to know what is the angle of the roof or the angle of this slant so it wants to know we'll call that theta it wants to know that angle right there right and so this is one where you're given SSS. You're given the three sides, and then you want to find one of the angles here. So basically, I get this is my C. This is my A and my B and my C. So my C would be 80. So it's 80 squared. And this is equal to 80 squared plus 135 squared minus 2 times 80 times 135 um, times the cosine of theta. Okay, so then I could solve, I got my cosine theta is equal to basically 80 squared 
and then I'm moving the minus 80 squared minus 135 squared and then all of this divided by that negative 2 times 80 times 135 okay so it looks like those 80s actually cancel each other out and I'm left with negative 135 squared divided by all this on bottom so in parentheses negative 2 times 80 times 135 it's important that that bottom that this whole bottom is in parentheses because you don't want it to just divide by the negative 2 and then multiply by those so that whole bottom needs to be in parentheses maybe I can zoom in on that this is what I'm talking about the parentheses needs to be around that entire bottom okay so when I do that I get 0.84 approximately 0.84375 and so my theta is just going to be the cosine inverse of that 0.84375 Okay, so I can do cosine inverse of my answer and I get 32.46 degrees so this would be that would be the slant of the roof there okay using the law of cosines in this case I'm given a side a side and a side and I'm finding an angle okay so those are two examples let me do one more here on this video and it's one involving bearings and so we get a little more practice with the bearings and we did this last time so um, basically a plane takes off with a bearing of 138 degrees and travels 350 miles it then changes directions with a bearing of 62 degrees and it travels 275 miles and then it wants to know how far is the plane when it starts well so let's say this is where it takes off and then let me make my little compass and it goes this is north and it goes uh, it takes off the direction is a bearing of 130 138 degrees so I don't know maybe like this this is 138 degrees we'll say and then it goes like 350 miles okay and then it turns changes its direction to a bearing of 62 degrees okay well 62 degrees would be kinda kinda like this right where this is 62 degrees and then it travels 275 miles not quite as long okay so this here is 350 miles this is 275 miles and it wants to know then how far away is this plane from where it starts so it wants to know this distance so that distance is like your C right and then you got the two sides so you need to know this included angle so is there any way we can get this included this angle here if you want maybe you could pause the video right now and see if you can figure out what that angle is okay I'll zoom in on that you pause the video and then we'll see if you can get it okay so were you able to get it here um, so basically one thing I notice is that this and this are like parallel lines and so um, uh, you know all 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 alternate uh, alternate interior angles would be like this and this right so this and this are equal now we can find this because this is 180 degrees so 180 minus 38 would be 42 degrees 
So that means this is 42 degrees. So it means that the whole angle is 42 degrees plus 62 degrees. So it looks like it's 104 degrees. So that's the angle there. So really what you get here is a triangle where the angle is 104 degrees. This is 350. This is 275. And you're finding this C right there. Okay. So and we're going to use the law of cosines to find the C. So the C squared is equal to 350 squared plus 275 squared minus 2 times 350 times 275 times cosine of 104 degrees. And let's use our calculator. We'll do it all in our calculator here. Oops. So I get 350 squared plus 275 squared minus 2 times 350 times 275 times cosine of 104 degrees. And you get all of that and so then I take the square root of it and I find 494.6 or so 0.7 if I round to the nearest tenth of a mile this is what I would get that's how far apart the two are okay so that would be kind of doing a problem involving bearings uh, where you you would use the law of cosines to solve it okay so I'm gonna have one more video and this is like an extra involved problem where you're going to have to use several things in order to solve um, the uh, to solve the problem so we'll look at that next